Okay, so I'm gonna be getting some more hours at work. Gonna have a little bit more money to spend. I haven't really bought any plugins in a while. Just all the time when I make beats that have organs in it. Um, you can get in there. No. Well, he looks really happy to be here. I don't want the best free music tools right now. I want to drop something. Man, just, I'm not going to play all the duos because... It's just high quality, man. I recommend... Maybe that's a little bit too much. Oh. No. No, I can't do this. $400, it's ridiculous. But it is the best one on the market, but four hundred dollars. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I did just buy Keyscape, and I am really excited for it. I mean, I know that it's four hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I've been wanting it for a long time, and I'm getting some more hours at work. I figured, why not get it? You know, it's not really going to harm us that much. I'm going to be getting some more hours at work, so I'll be having a little bit more money. I don't want to blow it all, obviously, but this is more of an investment more than just a toy, even though I'm really excited to use it. And whilst I'm going to be having some more hours at my job, I actually found a good way to make that and my content creation work somewhat in sync. And it's actually... Shut up, phone. And this actually really excites me. Uh, it's, it's going to be shorter videos. You know, I don't really know how long. I haven't really edited one of these before. But I'm going to be going through making a beat from scratch this entire thing, like the entire beat. You guys will all see it all. I might make some changes off camera, but then in the next video I'll go ahead and update you guys on what I'm doing. And because they're so short, I want to try and aim for every day. Don't quote me on that, it might be every other day still, because I am getting more hours. But I am really excited for it, so let's get right into it. Now the first video is going to be all about sound selection and just going through Keyscape and seeing which ones I like. Let's hear this one. Okay, cool. That one's okay. It's kind of lame. <laughs> this is kind of exactly what I was hoping for from downloading Keyscape. Cool. Yeah, I really like the whole like ambiance type pianos where it's a lot of reverb, so that might work out pretty nicely. Cool. A lot of these right now are sounding really nice. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. And now the whole point behind sound design and sound selection in the very first one is very key for me because it's really gonna set the first tone of how the beat's gonna be turning out. Now, if I have a nice little Rhodes like this, I'm not even sure this is a Rhodes, but it really sounds like that sort of like a, like wobbly piano. That's very classical. I mean, I know it's called classical, but when I hear it, I think of a very, very beautiful chords and spread apart melodies with like a lot of space in between them. This one's more like a somber, like sad one. This one has a lot of texture behind it, but I, I don't know if I like the texture.
Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay for the chords, but for the melody, I would probably pick a different sound selection. Or the opposite, even. I don't think that I would ever use this one personally. Maybe you might like it, but... It sounds like ducks to me. It's not really what I'm trying to go for. That one might be good for like some old school, like lo-fi or something like that. I think we might stick with this one for now. That's really, it's really 80s. So now once I get to here, I like it. I like it a lot actually, but I want to see if I can't do anything to it to make it sound a little bit different and a little bit more mine. I like the ambiance of it a little bit higher. I might leave on the echo too. You can't really hear too much in a chord, but then in the melody. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Now the reverb. A lot of these presets in, in Keyscape have like a lot of reverb on it, like almost too much. But this actually sounds pretty good, so I don't want to mess with that one too much. Let's double the voices. And if you guys don't know it, the voice is going to be more of like the how much, how, how many layers of the sample that there's going to be. So 16, how high can we even go with this? That's a lot of voices. You know, it just keeps on going and going. So why don't we go and try and do one? See, it's very, very empty, which could be good if you're going for that sort of thing, but I think that 16 worked pretty nicely. All right, so now I've got another instance of uh, Keyscape right here, and now we're just gonna try and find like a counter melody or something that we could use as an option. Woo! That is fire. Not really kind of sound what we're going for though, but I'll use that one in a later beat for sure. We're going to use that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I really appreciate you guys stopping by uh, and being patient with me as I go through this whole thing with my job, with working more and being able to create a little bit less. But this is hopefully a really good uh, like middle line for, for being a content creator. I know it's going to be a little bit shorter videos and not usually what I put on this channel, but I'm adapting. And be on the lookout for the video coming next. It's going to be all about chords and chord progressions and how you should try and layer them and make them sound different so they're not quite as boring. But once again, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.